could pretty well do or say anything we wanted to do. It's almost nice to be sensible and just talk to some kids out there and you know, we maybe See, can, slip in, we can slip in some crazy shit at some I'm point. I'm not as savvy just, as the computer, just, with the computer yeah. as you are. Yeah, but no, I, I get emails. This is, I'm telling you this is, this. is this standard with emails? Uh, every third email, I don't get emails from people I know, but every third email is like a junk mail thing about how I should have a bigger cock. <laughs> And I, I don't know how I, if I got on a fuck. At first, I was like, did I get on a mailing list? Like, yeah. maybe my doctor saw my measly cock. Right. You know, I, mean, <laughs> but I, I think I have a. You know, maybe my cock's not crazy big. Right. It's not. You know. No. But I, I don't think it's. I don't know. It requires surgery. Like, right. You know what I mean? But at first, I was like, holy shit, people are. It's true. Fine. It is. People are actually bidding. There's different guys. They <laughs> want my. You know. It's a huge growth industry of some, yeah. well, you know, I mean, I, I get those. A joke? No, I don't know. It's not a, I didn't mean no. it to be a joke. Okay. Yeah. No, I mean, you, you do, it would <laughs> no, have you been a pun. Do, that would have been a pun. I know, a pun. Yeah. That's funny, though. But you ever have, like, sometimes in, in stand up, you get that. The audience is so dirty minded that they don't, you know, you're just saying something. You go, hey, yesterday I came. Oh, oh you know? You're yeah, like, yeah, what? Yeah. I didn't mean come, like ejaculate. Yeah. You're the filthy just, pigs that thought that. They're just you're, waiting for it. Yeah, they, it's their dirty, filthy minds. Craving it. Yeah. They're craving. Hey, did you see the. Um, the filth uh, out did there. Did you see the Kramer thing? Oh, I did see that. We could look at that right now if we wanted to, but we don't have it to makes look me at that. Laugh. Yeah, does that make you laugh when you see that? You've well, done. You've done. Me laugh, you've I think, done stand I up. I know. My, I know Michael Richards. You do. Okay. That, and he's no racist. He's not a racist. And when you say something like that crazy, it can only be a joke. You know what I mean? He was out of his head element. He didn't know what to do. Yeah. But there's no way that a guy who's racist screams it at the top of his lungs. You know what I mean? Well, certainly, certainly, I don't think he was anticipating the fact that. A cell phone could have been putting no. this onto CNN as he was saying it. No, you know, no, no. I think he, he was right. Thinking, he wouldn't do it on uh, the Craig Ferguson show. Right. <laughs> <laughs> maybe on here though, we could maybe to get him on here to recreate that rant. I don't know. Up here in front of the brick wall. When these shows come along, when these new shows come along, do you think maybe uh, maybe I Tom Green should be the host rather than a sixty-year-old Scotsman? <laughs> I mean, I would have, I would have, I would have enjoyed to give it, a, to give it a shot. Yeah, yeah but yeah. you know, he seems like he's a pretty funny no, guy, no, though. He's, no, he's yeah. great. I'm just saying. Yeah. Did you, did you guest host? Um, I did not. No, I did not. And did at the time, did you go? I, I should be guest hosting this. They've got 20 year old kids from TRL. Um, yeah, I was asked to guest host it. Yeah, I was actually. <laughs> Is that the party yeah. line? Well, they make you sign all this stuff, and I was working uh, and and continuing to work at another show. So over the I MTV show. No, uh, I don't. We don't want to talk about this. I though. like that yeah. MTV show. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I like this show. Yeah. You get a lot of this. People looking around. Yeah, no, I know. I mean, <laughs> sometimes it's fun to just sit here and you know relax. You know, we've got a whole hour. I like it because anything could happen, but nothing could happen. Yeah, no, I mean, it's fun to just kind of take it easy, you know, yeah. and let it, let it breathe a little bit. Let's take another call. Look, let's try this here. Look, Alex. From George. Uh, from? Norm. Dave from Ontario wants to know. Oh, that's where we're from. We're from Ontario. Let's see if this but works. Look at the clash there. Uh, look at that. Are you on? There we go. There's Dave from Ontario on with Norm Macdonald. Wow, look how, <laughs> look how excited he looks to be on with Norm Macdonald. <laughs> Guys, I've been waiting all night. I'm sitting here and I'm eating. Sorry, is there an echo? I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sitting here. I'm, I was eating rice crisps and hot sauce. And I thought, I finished my drink. I don't know what this hey, is. Hey, Dave, oh, Dave, calm down, man. What's going on? I'm nothing. Eating stuff. Waiting. Where are you in Ontario? Kitchener. Oh, yeah. A lot of, lot of Nazis there. Nazis? <laughs> a lot of Germans in Kitchener. I'm originally from Ottawa. Oh, yeah. Carlton Place. Carlton Place. <laughs> That's where I was born. Oh, this is yeah. a strange little meeting of the Ottawa Valley. This guy can't stop making I know, I funny love, faces. I love it. <laughs> I just like to, it's funny to see myself. Yeah, it's just look, like look, in the <laughs> look in the camera. Stop looking at yourself. Yeah, now it's like we're on, it, on the CNN. Look <laughs> in the camera and ask Norm a question. I love okay, um, I heard a lot of rumors about like Saturday Night Live and what happened and why you quit the show or why you weren't on the show anymore. I just want to know, like, was it because they were writing you crappy jokes or what was going on? <laughs> what happened there? No, they just, they just, they just, you know, as happens in show business, you get fired sometimes. 
It's funny we're on the World Wide Web and it's four guys from Ottawa. I, I totally yeah. missed. I totally missed the answer because my and then and the, we could just meet over by the canal. Some guy from Ottawa calling up asking you uncomfortable questions. You know. I mean, you know, you have to go right. To I don't mean to make you uncomfortable. I just wanted to look know, in the like, camera, Dave. Look in the camera. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna. I'm gonna let Dave go. Stirring up, <laughs> stirring up trouble on the internet. Well, what happened there? You, I mean, that was. I remember because that. Did you enjoy doing Weekend Update? Was well, that? I, yeah, I loved that because yeah. it was the like, closest thing to like doing stand up where you could, and I had complete control. How fun must have that been? Yeah, that was the funnest because you got. It's. It, you know, I'll tell you, man. There's two shows, and now there's this one. But there's two shows where you can bomb on the shows. This is what I that I've been on. Right. One is the old Letterman show. Uh huh. The 12:30 show. Uh huh. You can go on and do stand-up. You could bomb. They didn't tell the audience to laugh. You right. Know? It's not all juiced up. And then the, the fucking Saturday Night Live, they don't tell the audience. You can bomb like crazy. And then when I did shit comms, it's like the fucking exact opposite. Right. They laugh at any fucking thing. Like, I remember I'd be in the writer's room. I'd go, we can't do this shit. This is the hackiest fucking shit. And they go, no, no, man, it's good. And I go, it's not fucking good, I'll tell you that, you know. Uh, and they go, no, it's good. And so they lose complete and perspective? And I go, I bet you anything, this fucking bombs. Of course, it kills, you know. Because the audience is just going to laugh at anything. Yeah, because they have a, a warm-up guy. Uh -huh. A guy comes out and he's out in a unicycle juggling, juggling. fire juggler. And he's way funnier than the show, you know. Right. <laughs> like people are actually like upset when they go back to the show, you know. It's that's because kind I'll, of. I've, I I know exactly what you're saying. I mean, I find I found it hard to kind of, you know, sometimes convert kind of the ridiculous energy and when you get the big budget comes in, it's hard yeah. to kind of get it to get through all of that. Yeah. That's why it's kind of fun to just have this thing in the in it's the living nice room here. It's nice without an audience. Yeah. It reminds me of like uh, the Tomorrow Show. Yeah, yeah it's yeah. kind of like you remember Tom Snyder. Do you remember that when you were a kid, like watching Tom Snyder uh -huh. super late at night? Well, you know, I watched it when he came back. Oh yeah, when the he tomorrow, came back. Yeah. Uh, late, late, remember he was on show. after Letterman, yeah. for, right when Letterman went to CBS. Yeah, That's, Letterman gave him his spot. He took from him. Uh huh. Yeah. That's when I used to watch that all the time. Yeah. I remember when you did Letterman the first time because I was doing Amateur Night at Yuck Yucks yeah. in Ottawa, yeah. and I remember. When you went to do oh, yeah, I was still in, I was Letterman, still in and then Canada, you went to write yeah. for Roseanne, I remember yeah, yeah, yeah. that. And do you? Oh, totally, yeah. <laughs> That's what's cool about Canada, is everybody knows everybody, what they're up to. And well, I was like four, 15 at Yuck Yucks. Yeah, yeah. No, I remember you at Yuck Yucks and once. I, yeah. Because I remember seeing you at, uh, you probably don't remember this, but I saw you, uh, you were going on uh, Regis and Kathy Lee. I saw you in New York City. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That was later, yeah. yeah. What was that like going and working on Roseanne? Was that fun? You know, I don't like fucking sitcoms, but it's all right. <laughs> you just don't like. I like them. old time, you know. But like you've done the, a couple of sitcoms. Like you don't like them. You don't like them. No. Nah. Because nah. it all seems like. Do, do you know anyone watch a sitcom? Like, I, I of personally. Our age? Well, no, I personally find them a little bit. It seems corny. It seems like an old timey thing. From a, you know, it doesn't seem real. Yeah. At all. You yeah. know what I'm saying. Yeah, it's kind of like the art of, of of telling a joke is different on there. It's, yeah. Yeah. But let's take a call here from. But I like the old timey ones. Yeah, like the honeymooners. I could watch that all day. Yeah. And Lucy and no, yeah. No, Lucy. no? Uh, <laughs> who are your favorite comedians? Who's cra who cracks you up? Like now? I yeah, now. I like Brian Regan. You should get him on that show. You ever see that guy? Uh -uh. He's just a stand-up, but he's really funny. You know him, right? Hello, you're on the air with Norm McDonald. Where are you calling from? I'm calling from Harrison, Arkansas. Woo! Uh, cool. You have a question for Norm? Yeah, well, I just, uh, I just, last night, uh, or a couple nights ago, I was browsing through YouTube, right? And, uh, I w it was like 5.30 in the morning, and I was just laughing my fucking ass off at all this, I'm sorry, well, I guess I can cut. Uh, <laughs> laughing my ass off at all those Norm clips, man, I don't know if he knows, but there is all kinds of hilarious shit, all the, the talk show spots he did. I just wanted to tell him that when he was on The View, I thought that was the funniest shit he ever did, man. I don't know what it was, but Norm at a table. Hello? Four, four fat old women talking about what he talked about. Was what happened now? What, what, what were you talking about on The View? Do you, is that, did, it, did you get kicked off The View or something? I did a, a weird thing on The View, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Do you want me to tell you the story? Uh -huh, yeah, yeah. All right. There was a guy, there was a fucking, I was at this point in my life, all the time gambling. That's all I was doing, you know. For some reason, I was obsessed. 
success with that. Uh-huh. So anyways, I was doing some, I think I was doing a sitcom or something. And so they said, oh, you got to go on The View, you know? So, you know, you've been pre-interviewed and stuff. That's what's cool about this show is no pre-interview. Yeah, yeah. But you've been pre-interviewed. So, you know, with like Letterman, you know, they know comedy and stuff like that. But on some of these other shows. So anyways, this, this guy's pre-interviewing me, the producer of The View, right? This old man. Uh-huh. And he's like, listen, man. He's like. <laughs> he was an old guy? Yeah. And he's yeah. like, what are you going to do? And I go, I don't know. I'll think of a story. I was doing, you know, I, was, I kept, I was in this long, long poker binge, you know.